Good morning, friends. Remember, this is our big book of poems. This is the front cover, back cover, and the title. The title of this book is Pickled Peppers. Now remember, this book is special because it doesn't just have one poem. It has a whole bunch of poems. And when I open it up, I see the title page. This is just to remind you of the title in case you forgot. And when I turn the page again, I see a special place called the Table of Contents. The Table of Contents tells you where to find things. Today, we are reading a nursery rhyme called Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. Let's check the Table of Contents to see where we can find it. I, oh, I see it right here. And when I move my finger across the page, it says it's on page 21. So I'm going to go and turn to page 21. And there it is. Now, again, my friends, the title of this nursery rhyme is Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear. And this is the title and the illustrator. Remember, the illustrator draws the pictures and the pictures that they draw have to do with the words on the page. Before we read our poem, let's look at the pictures and make some observations. What do you see? You might say, I see two bears. There's a rope. Maybe it's a jump rope. And it looks like one of the bears is tying his shoes. Now, there aren't a lot of pictures on this page, but that's okay. We made a lot of great observations. All right, I think I'm ready to read our nursery rhyme. While we're reading, I want you to listen for rhyming words. Those are words that sound the same at the end. I also want you to listen for words that get repeated. That means you hear the word more than one time. All right, let's read. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tie your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Did you hear words that rhyme? I heard around and ground. They both end in ound. What about shoe? Does shoe rhyme with around and ground? No, you're right. They don't sound the same at the end. What about shoe and you? You're right. They do sound the same at the end. They both end with ooh. Do you know other words that rhyme with shoe? I'll give you a hint. It's my favorite color and it's the same color as this page. Ready? Did you say blue? Because if you did, you're right. Blue rhymes with shoe and you. Great job finding those rhyming words. Hmm, what about repeated words? Did you hear any words that were repeated? What's that? Teddy bear? You're right. They said teddy bear a whole bunch of times. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tie your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. Now let's look more closely at our poem. What do you notice about the words in this poem? Let's see, turn around, touch the ground, tie your shoe. Well, all those things are instructions. This poem is giving you instructions or directions for what you're supposed to do. Like when we play Miss G Says. So Miss G Says, turn around. Miss G Says, touch the ground. Miss G Says, tie your shoe. Those are all instructions or directions. One thing I like to do to help me figure out what's going on in a poem is act it out. So let's do it together. Can you stand up? Okay, we're going to pretend to be teddy bears, okay? Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Teddy bear, teddy bear, tie your shoe. Teddy bear, teddy bear, I love you. 
Great job acting it out with me. Now that we've read it a few times, we can use what we know from the words in the poem and put it together with our observations of the picture. So, what do you think the bears are doing? Well, when I read the words and look at the picture, I know that one bear for sure is tying his shoe. And when I'm looking at the picture, I think that the other bear must be playing jump rope. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. Are you ready? These directions are part of a game you play while you're playing jump rope. So while you're jumping, you can turn around, you can touch the ground, and you can pretend to tie your shoe. That's so fun. I hope you try it out sometime. Thanks for reading this poem with me. You're amazing. I'll see you again later.